Good morning, everybody. Happy Christmas Eve. We are almost to that day, y'all. How are you all doing today? Welcome to the All About Favor channel. I am your host, Pastor KZ. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching. And for those of you who are new to the channel, thank you for watching and I hope that you subscribe. Y'all, we are over 3,500 subscribers and that is only because of you. You believed in me. You supported me. Even when some people who I thought would, you know some people haven't even picked up the phone and say congratulations on your channel or great episodes. But you know what? I'm okay with that. It's going to still be all right. I just want to have some random pop-in thoughts with you today. Tell me who's out there doing some last-minute gift shopping. Did you have some unexpected guests come in and you're like, oh, shoot, I got to get a couple of more gifts. Get something small. Hey, you know what I was thinking about? I was with my sister, Quan one day, and we were out doing some shopping. And we were looking at, you remember those popcorn tins, the big things of popcorn? Y'all see how they done literally cut those tins in half? Man, everything is getting smaller now, but they still want the same price for it. Or maybe the price has gone up. I couldn't believe that because you know what I do. Pastor K loved that popcorn. I go and get them after Christmas when they're half off. Yeah, pig out, watch some of the bowl games, and I always have a tin ready for the Super Bowl handy. I'm just doing some random thoughts with you because I am just so blessed to be alive, y'all. Made it through some rough spots this past year. Had some, some really horrific losses. Lost some family members. And y'all, it has not been easy emotionally, but you know what? I have to keep going on for you, you the viewers, you the subscribers, my church family. You know, you are the people that keep Pastor KZ going. And I just want to share a little bit about Pastor KZ. If you notice, I am wearing an African symbol. Those of you probably may have heard me say this before. I uh, went to the motherland last year and that was a, a a dream come true for me you know i got a chance to walk on the continent of africa i got to see things that only i dreamed about or i read about and and i'm not saying i read some of this stuff from history books some of the things i saw i, I read in the bible you know the history books didn't tell the truth y'all but I encourage you, take a trip to the motherland. Just pick a country and go. It's over 52 countries. None of them are the same, y'all. And don't believe it when they say they all live in the bush and live like wild animals. That is just not true. You know, some of them, there's some very nice resorts there. Some very beautiful beaches there. And oh my God, the vegetation there. I was there, y'all, and there were like huge mango trees all over. And every morning I would get a mango like this size and sweet. Oh my goodness. So the fruit there is just so sweet. And the seafood there is absolutely phenomenal. When you get a chance, take a trip there to the continent. One thing I will say now, it is very, the weather is very, very humid there. So it might not be a place you want to go, ladies, and put on your full regalia of your makeup. It might not be a place you want to have your lace front on every single day. But go and enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And I just want to shout out all of my African brothers and sisters who are there on the continent, who are still working very, very hard, who are business owners. And oh my God, them people, they have some church there. You hear me? So I just wanted to shout them out and make mention of them. I also definitely do not want this holiday season to go unnoticed without me mentioning my husband, my children, and my mother-in-law, my sister and brother-in-laws, and all of my nieces over there on the continent, and some who are here in the USA as well. I just love you all so much, and I'm just so blessed to be a part of a very loving family. Thank you all so much for loving on me and embracing me, and I just want to thank my husband for always supporting me always supporting me and encouraging me and praying with me and praying over me. I want to thank his church family, Pastor Joshua, Mother Princess, all of them 
Thank you all so much. My sisters over there, Sister, Sister Miko Zolama, you know, Sister Blessing, so many of you over there, Sister KK, you all just wrapped your arms around me and just loved on me. And I so appreciate you all. I just want to shout out our children, Dominique. You all may know him as Dom's kid. And he is going to be the next Wiz kid. That boy got a gift. You hear me? He can sing. He can rap. And by the way, he's principal honor roll. You know, he's a big book. He's very, very smart. Our daughter, Jeanette, just great little girl, eight-year-old little girl, very, very smart, very respectful, very mannable. Just, you all, I'm just really, really blessed. You know, as, as some people don't realize, when you are going through one of the hardest parts of your life, a, t a period in your life when things happen and you just don't know how you're going to make it through. And then someone come into your life and pray you through it and lift you up and is there for you. That is an unbelievable feeling. You know, there was a time in my life when I was very, very sick a few years ago. I was, I was so sick that gave, the doctors gave me up, you know, uh, I can't say I gave up because I was in a st I was I was in a coma and it was nothing but God that brought me through it and I am a living testimony y'all. I will one day share my entire testimony with you, but I'm just sharing today on Christmas Eve because I just felt that like I wanted to say some things. Um I I am so blessed that a man would call me on the phone. And I'm talking about my husband. And when I got home from the hospital, and I was still very, very sick, I had to have a nurse, you know, every day to come in and, and change my dressings and the tubing and everything. And this man would be on the phone. And when I'd wake up throughout the night, he'd still be on the phone. And he's like, uh, yeah, I'm watching over you. I'm praying for you. You know, and to have someone to just be there for you, that's a blessing. As I said, I experienced some family losses this year. Our family lost quite a few family members during the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, it was, it was graveside service, funeral service, memorial service, and most of which I did not attend a lot of them because I, didn't, I already know my immune system would have been compromised. But... We've lost so many loved ones, you know, and I just want to say to the rest of my family members, I love you all so much, and we have so little time, so little time, precious time. We don't need to waste time. Love on each other, and on tomorrow, pick up that phone if you're out of town and you can't see someone in your family, and just tell them you love them. Pick up the phone, drive, you know, call them and say, hey, you mind if I stop over for a few seconds? I just want to lay my eyes on you. You know, don't have no gifts to bring to you. You know, you don't have to worry about giving giving me anything. I just want a hug. Love on each other, y'all. It's about love. That really is what's important. You all have a wonderful Christmas Eve. Guess what? We're going to walk around and do ugly sweater tonight. And tomorrow is going to be the pajama soiree. We're going to be in pajamas all day. So I might pop in tomorrow. I don't know. You know what? I may pop in a little bit later just to give you a preview of who, what character I'm going to be for the ugly sweater and the pajama soiree. Because I do have a character that I just love, love, love the character. And you'll be surprised who that character is. Not Garfield, not Bugs Bunny, although those are my favorite cartoon characters. I have another character that I might just share with you a little bit later. I might share with you on tomorrow. Not sure. But anyway, thank you all so much for your support with this channel. Thank you so much for viewing the channel and sharing it. Continue to like, share, and for those of you new, subscribe to the channel. And continue. Keep me in prayer. The shoulder is all bundled up and wrapped up, but it's still all good. Peace and love and blessings to you all. Love and light to you. 
Jesus is the reason for the season because he is the light of the world. Have a wonderful day and be blessed. Stay focused and always walk in favor. I'll see you. Have a great holiday.